Hey what's up guys, it's Methodically here. This is going to be my video explaining all of my performance tweaks that I've done to my PC to achieve stable 900 FPS with peaks of a thousand. So if you guys find some of these settings interesting or helpful, uh, please leave a like on the video and be sure to apply and test some of these tweaks because I'm sure they will uh, improve your guys performance. I'm gonna go through this really quickly so I don't waste your guys time because this will be a really long video. So um, part one of the video I'm going to go through all of the basics that you can do on your computer yourself right now. Part two will be things that you'll have to research to figure out how to enable DOCP XMP. I'll leave links in the description. And part 2.5 will be my rage editor tweaks. Part three will be my Fortnite settings and config settings. So uh, yeah, if you find something interesting or helpful, uh, you can just go ahead and skip to that part. I'll leave links, timestamps in the description, comment section, and along the video slayer, slider. So yeah, um, let's just get straight to it. Background apps, just go into your search bar, type in background. Background apps, disable everything. You don't need any of these on, turn them all off. Adjust appearance of windows, type in adjust, and you should see this come up, type yes. Put on custom, turn off everything except smooth edges of screen fonts, so text is readable, and show thumbnails instead of icons. That just means uh, you, your videos will like show thumbnails like this, yeah. Alright, that's that. Next one, game mode on, just go settings, gaming, game, bar, uh, game mode, turn that on, it'll help your input delay and FPS. Next one, power options, let's go rapid fire, system. Power and sleep, additional power settings, high performance, change plan settings, change advanced power settings, wireless adapter settings, power saving mode, maximum performance, processor power management, system cooling active, minimum processor state at 100, 100. Next one, uh, game bar and OneDrive disabled. Go to your settings, gaming, turn off game bar, you can turn this off. You don't need this, you can just use Nvidia to record stuff. Turn off captures, you don't need that. And OneDrive. OneDrive is like a syncing application, so it will like upload all your fo photos, files, and all that. You can disable that. You want to turn off all of uh, the syncing applications. So go into your settings. I've already disabled it, so I can't show you. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for my NVIDIA control panel settings. Also, one more thing I forgot to show in that video, which is really important. Go into your control panel, select the physics in our tab, yours might be on auto select, so select your dedicated gaming GPU. Next one, high end accessories, uh, so I have a Steel Series keyboard and Logitech G Pro mouse, so whatever uh, accessories you have, download the software for it, and you want to enable all of the polling rates to 1000, that way it has no delay. I'll, sh I'll show a picture right now mm, on why polling rate is important. Also, while you have those softwares uh, downloaded, you want to disable all RGB lights whenever you play tournaments or wages as uh, RGB lights uh, affect your input delay. Alright, for your monitor drivers, you want to type in device manager. Open. And then you want to go to your monitors. So you'll see here, mine is an MSI MAG 251RX, but yours might just say generic PNP monitor. That's because you're running on a driver that's from 2006 for your monitor. You haven't updated the latest driver for it. So research what brand your monitor is, download the latest driver on their website, and you should have improved your performance and input delay from click to screen. Next one, keyboard, type in keyboard, and you want to put repeat delay on short, repeat rate on fast. Next one, go for your mouse, you want to go devices, select mouse, additional mouse options, 
pointer options. You want to disable enhanced pointer precision and you want your pointer speed to be at 5, uh, the middle. Disable all audio devices that aren't being used. This is just a placebo, I think, but I don't know, I feel like it helps me a lot. So just manage your sound devices and just disable the ones you don't use, like this. I don't use my, t my monitor's audio at all, so just disable those. Set all playback and recording audio devices on CD quality. This will help improve your performance. So for my headphones, I go into additional device properties and then I hit enhancements. You want to disable all as well as uh, Windows Sonic, you want that off. And then in here you want to select CD quality as it pretty much makes no difference for your headphones. Except uh, if you go CD quality, it will improve your performance. So I recommend going with that. And same thing for your microphone, but I put mine on. Um, but I put mine on DVD quality since I make YouTube videos. So it's just up to you if you want performance or better quality microphone audio. Right, next one, uh, your browser performance tweaks. Go into your browser, select the three dots, hit performance three dots again you want to turn off startup boost you want to turn off this sitting here you want to turn off hardware acceleration and you want to turn on save resources and phase sleeping tabs i just turn on efficiency mode because i feel like that helps me while playing games so yeah, you can turn that on if you want or just test it but i found it to help me quite a bit go into your discord hit user settings you want to go into advanced and disable hardware acceleration also go into your game overlay and disable the in-game overlay it will help your input delay and performance when gaming hardware accelerations you also want to go into your spotify app if you use spotify and you want to turn off hardware acceleration on that application also in Windows seems to download a lot of applications automatically, so just you have to uninstall things like TikTok, Roblox, Skype, Solitaire, just delete all of the applications you don't need. Like this, these are all the applications I have on my PC and that's it. Just a real basic. I've deleted everything and disabled every single application I can to help my performance. So you know, go ahead and try that and see if it helps you guys. Next one, go into your privacy settings and you want to disable everything you don't need like turn off location, turn off camera, turn off voice activation and Cortana, like just to, uh, disable everything like phone calls, call history, you don't need the radio, turn everything off that you don't need, just leave the pictures and uh, files and documents, but everything else just turn off. Uh, clear your percent temp percent files i've already shown this but i'll just show it again real quick type that in and you can just clear all of this and that should help you if you get a setting saying you can't delete some files just leave those that's fine just delete the ones you can and then intelligent standby cleaner uh i'll leave a link in the description on how to download and set this up but this helps with input delay and system latency so highly recommend you use this because every single pro in the world uses this and if you're not you're at a disadvantage Okay, parts of the video will be understanding your RAM kit and your GPU. So, so first one, there will be a link in the description uh, with a video on how to set up your DOCP or XMP for your RAM kit. Uh, I've noticed you can only enable these if you have a RAM kit with speeds of 3200 MHz or above. So if that applies to you, you can go ahead and click that and enable those performance boosts. I'll quickly show you how to check if you do have a RAM speed that can be enabled with XMP and DOCP. Go into your task manager and select performance and you'll see this here. If it's 3200 or above, you can enable that setting. All right, uh, MSI Afterburner. This honestly gave me like a 30% increase in performance FPS wise. So, uh, I'll leave a link in the description on a video explaining how to download and set this up. 
So it's just important to know and understand what your GPU's boost clock speed can support. Uh, and I just lock it at 1875 megahertz. Part 2.5. Uh, there'll be a link in the description also for a video on how to get it into safe mode. Just in case uh, if anything doesn't work for you, you can go back to how it was previously. Alright, now let's get into my rigid uh, tweaks. So what you want to do is just go ahead and copy. I'm going to leave these in the description. So you can just copy that. Type in rigid. And you want to run it as administrator. So you want to go back up to the top. Just close everything and you want to erase that and paste in what I just typed. For network thr throttling, a lot of people recommend 8 ifs to disable this. But uh, I've tested out having on hexadecimal A and uh, my ping has been pretty steady. So just either try hexadecimal A or 8 ifs and see what works better for you. Also for system responsiveness, you can either try 0 or any way up to 5. Anywhere in there should improve your performance. I just have it on 1. I could put it on 0, but uh, I don't know. Uh, some people experience crashes with this setting, so just uh, be careful. What um, So just test around which um, number your PC can support. My system can support 0, but I just, uh, just have it on 1. Alright, next one, you want to go into your system profile, copy that, Is that paste in the new, uh, copy paste it, GPU priority, I have it on 8, priority, hexadecimal 6, high, capital H, priority, high, capital H, yeah, and that's all of my rigid tweaks. Right, part 3, there will be a link in the description showing my config settings. And now I'm just going to go through my Fortnite settings that I recommend to you guys. So full screen gives the least amount of input delay. Uh, let's just start from the bottom. Video reflex low latency. This will help with input delay for your system. So I highly recommend turning this feature on. It's available for DX11 and performance mode. Those are the two rendering modes I have tested. So you want to turn off GPU debugging. I'm just going to go through. You can just copy if you want to see. Multi-threaded rendering on. DX11, show FPS. Vsync off. All of these things off. Also, a quick a quick little uh, secret not many people know about. Every time you get onto Fortnite, lower your resolution to 25. Apply and then set it back up to 100 and apply again. It will make your game feel a lot more smoother and just more snappy and responsive I don't know why that is but it's just the thing the options you want to go into the cogwheel here you want to make sure you disable all of these options like reset performance stats peripheral lighting and video highlights turn all of these off and I also recommend turning off all the record replays because uh, you're constantly going to be recording and downloading things onto your hard drive so turn this off also, I have heard, and now this might just be a placebo, but I have heard pros talk about on streams how their hard scale affects their FPS and input delay. So say if it's on like 100, uh, I've heard people say that it actually affects their performance, so have it on like 70 to 80, that's what I recommend. Uh, also, next one, audio, put your sound quality on high so your audio doesn't cut out or randomly just turn off during end games. Uh, also visualize sound effects, though it can be nice, it will in, uh, take a performance hit on your PC. So if you prefer performance, turn it off, but if you want uh, more awareness, turn it on. Everyone knows this, but might as well just say it, just in case that one person out there doesn't know. If you wear a skin like this, if you have particles or like any effects on your skin, it will decrease your performance. So if you're playing tournaments or wages, I highly recommend using a superhero skin or just any skin that's just minimal, has no effects and doesn't have any moving objects on it. Alright guys, that's every performance tweak I've applied to my PC to achieve a thousand FPS. 
so if this video has helped you in any way please leave a like and i appreciate you guys watching and sticking around with this long all right see you guys in the next one